Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy. If you saw some of my recent videos, you saw that I was painting with these colors. That's fluorescent green. Um, and so this was the end of that painting session. That's fluorescent blue, but it has something else mixed in it. Fluorescent purple. Uh, so I was trying to use up some of these paints. That's a Joe Sonia, um, like pearlescent blue green. It's a really pretty color. And that is Prussian Violet from Color Art. And this is a custom color I made that I didn't really do a good job showing you from Sea Glass from Color Art. I added two drops of Cyan Aqua and I got that beautiful color. So this is just an MDF round. I actually cut this from, um, I cut this one myself. I don't remember why, because this is actually half inch MDF. I think I did it with um, leftover wood from a geode. I don't remember, but anyway, I cut it myself. So I'm gonna spread out the pillow paint and then we'll blow this one out. Um, I think I actually may have even used this other color that I had start up called Bitter Lime. But this one will be a quick one. Okay, so um, first color is that fluorescent green, I believe, which is a vivid, intense color. Oh no, that's the custom color. I used my custom color first. Isn't it pretty? So the way this happened is I had some of that sea glass color mixed up and um, that's fluorescent green. And I don't like just plain old green very much. So that sea glass color was like a, kind of a pale green and it was frosty and th that's pretty. But I, I tend to like more of a blue green or a green blue. Anyway, so I hadn't used it. And so I was like, I need to use this up. So I just decided to modify it and put a little, you know, drop of purely pigment. My paints are still quite thick as you can see. Probably way too thick. Probably going to crack. Anyway, adding those two drops of the Purely Pigment just made it a great color. And I love, I just love the fact that you can tweak a color like that and then be like, oh yeah, this is an okay color. And then be like, but now it's a wonderful color. So that's kind of nice. Um, so let's see. Prussian Violet. If I, if I had known I was going to do this one, I probably would have included it in another video that I did. Because, um, I mean, it's kind of boring for you to see me do the same exact colors. The only thing I did different with this one is I put this custom color on the bottom and then closer to the top. So once I resin this, that color will provide some really nice, you know, pizzazz because it's very sparkly and that's the blue green from Joe Sonia I do really like those um, little pearlescent paints they have they're they're great for blooms um, this is the fluorescent purple again these paints are quite thick they dried nicely other than uh, there's some minor cracking because of the thicker paint in some places but I can fill that in with a similar color. Like if you didn't make it, you wouldn't notice the cracks. They're kind of subtle, but you know, I can kind of correct that as long as it's not crazy. Um, and what I do is I just take a small paintbrush and I sort of glaze over it with a similar color with a paintbrush um, because I'm gonna resin coat it anyway and some of that stuff's just not gonna show enough. All right, and this is our cell activator, which is M gram titanium white. And it's probably a little too much. And, you know, I'm a little rusty because I haven't had time to paint, so I am going to try to blow this out myself. So sorry about my face or my head in your face. So the object, of course, is expand that circle so that you can then blow out your petals. Easier said than done. I was really trying to work on the tilting my head to the side which you can tell is not very natural for me. But I was just taking my time, trying to keep everything from pooling back in. 
This is where I have to get better at using more force on this part. And I was starting to run out of my breath. Um, ideally, you don't want to go back over the same spot you've already blown, like I just did right there. But I had to, I had to get more of that white out, you know. So not too bad, not amazing, but considering I'm trying to force myself to blow sideways, not too bad. So now what I'm trying to do is catch that white edge so I can get better coverage. Um, but you know, we're getting there. And um, you know, I have been blooming since, I don't know, like, sorry, my television just went crazy. Um, anyway, I've been blooming since like 2019, I think. And, um, like this is still a challenge for me. So I'm not one of those like stellar students that just got it the first time. So, you know, if you're doing blooms and you struggle with some aspect of it, have grace for yourself. It's challenging. Um, but one thing I am is determined. So if I decide I'm going to do something, I'm probably going to do it. You know, I don't give up too easily, but I do like to be immediately good at things. And obviously this is not one of those things <laughs> that people are usually immediately good at. Um, I kind of wish I had not done that right there. Um, because I end up thinking that the center looks a little overblown and like right now it looks great. Um, but as it stretches out, it looks a little overgrown, over, overgrown, overblown. It could be because I'm moving the canvas around, but I still like it. I still think it turns out cute. One of the things I want to work on, and you may have heard me say this in another video, is using less paint so I can get more of those color dimensions from the blow. I also kind of like experimenting with similar colors, but like, Hey, if we were to do these same exact colors and do a double cell activator instead of a single or do black on top of white or white on top of black or use an interference color as or like a pearl color as a cell activator. So it's kind of neat to see how you can get so many different looks from your same color palette by tweaking something or layering your colors differently. That's kind of a fun thing to do when you're using up paint is like, okay, how many different ways can I make this color palette look unique? Um, so I don't know if you can kind of see what I mean um, about the center. Some of it was making sure my edges were covered because my paint was thick. Um, but I just felt like I had kind of a really nice start and kind of a eh, mediocre finish. But I still think it's nice. I, I, I like it a lot. Um, but I kind of want to tweak that. So, so yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching this one with me. Um, this is the last of the ones I did that one night where I was playing with those similar colors. Um, but I wanted to share it in three short videos versus like a super long video, uh, for one, because I wasn't sure I was going to do all of them. And so I really only kind of prepared to, to share the one. Um, but I hope that you have enjoyed hanging out and uh, eventually I'll share the resin results. It's not even close to being resined yet, but, but yeah, sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm getting the drips off my hand so I can show you up close. But anyway, I really appreciate your support and don't forget to check the description box. There's lots of discounts in there for you. Um, I think the link to my Facebook group is also in there and, uh, yeah, our Etsy store is in there. I also, because of doing the laser stuff, if you do need some custom laser work done, just let me know. If it's something I can do, I'll be happy to work with you. Um, and let me show you what this one looks like up close. Okay. All right, so I brought it up to the camera versus taking the camera off the tripod, tripod which might have been the lazy way because I can't angle it so you can see it in the light. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. Bye.